What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today we'll be talking about how to find your jump shots with the best visual cues. I know we can't really put numbers into these visual cues and for the most part it is personal preference but in this video here I'll give you some tips on how you can find them. I'll even give you some examples of some jump shots that I think that have good visual cues. So try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense. It is not going to be that long anyway. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section what releases do you think have good visual cues so others can see. So let's get right into it. So I will get this one really straight to the point. For jump shot releases to have good visual cues, you need a couple of things. First one, it should be a two motion release. For those of you who don't know what two motion means, those are jump shots that cocks the ball back behind the shooter's head before releasing the ball. In real life, those are shots like Kobe, Ray Allen, and Larry Bird, just to name a few. The counterpart of it is of course your one motion release, where shooters shoot the ball straight from the set point, then it'll pass shooter's forehead for a bit, then straight to the release. In real life, Steph and Dame Lillard do this one. So the reason why I want two motion release is that it gives a lot of reference on when you want to release the shoot button. Because it's two motion, it looks like there's a lot of things going on. Like for example, in my case, I'm using bird release 100%, I can refer on lots of parts of the animation. Like for example, if my latency is really bad, usually I release the shoot button just after the cockback animation. And if my latency is a bit better, usually I release the shoot button some milliseconds away after that cockback animation. So since there's a lot of things going on on that animation, I can refer to a lot of points on that animation. While with one motion release, since there's not much going on, there's not much to refer to as well. Now for the next thing that your jump shot release needs, this one here is not as important as the first one but you need it. As much as possible, the release should be high so the visual cue is much visible. I think that's what makes Bird and Robertson really popular. Two motion release with cockback animation plus high release point. By the way, I know there's a lot of other criteria to make the visual cue good. So after watching, please let me know in the comment section if you want to add something so others can see. Now for the next part, to give you more perspective on what I'm talking about, here are some examples of one motion releases that I don't recommend. You got Halliburton, you got shots like Coffee, Dinwiddie, and Giddy. And there's a lot of shots like that. Yeah, it can be good, of course, but for me personally, as a player with bad latency, I wouldn't recommend these kinds of releases. And here are some examples of two motion releases. You got a lot of two motion releases in here. This is just to give you more perspective on how it looks like. You got Bird, of course. Actually, I'm using Bird 100%. You got Robertson. You got Kobe. You got Reset, and a lot more. So in summary, to have a good visual cue, get a release with two motions and high release. So that's all for the video. Again, please leave any feedback or anything you want to add or some other examples of good visual cue releases. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.